it's just great to get out of the house. But there's nothing like coming out here, especially to a drive-in, watching it on a 70-foot screen. You can have your family in the car, or you're sitting in the back of the SUV, you know, everybody's still in their pajamas, or bringing their sleeping bags, and it's just fun. It's a, it's a night out, and uh, especially during the pandemic that we're uh, faced with right now, it's a safer way to get out and uh, enjoy your family and watch a great movie. Well, like, there's not much to do, and um, she said this was like a cool idea, and I thought it'd be like a nice alternative to going to the movie theater, so yeah. Um, it's our anniversary, and we're like, oh, what can we do? Everything's closed, and we're like, well, drive-in theater's kind of like a self-quarantined movie Experience. date. Yeah. We, we go out to movies a lot, so yeah. we're kind of bummed we can't do that anymore, but yeah. yeah. We have all the employees wearing gloves. He has uh, hand sanitizer. There are two available, so if somebody wants a little squirt of hand sanitizer, we can do that that way, you know. Hey, like, you know, it not only helps us, but our, actually the customers, too. And when they see it, they're like, oh, you got gloves on good, and, you know, so better to be safe than sorry. Obviously, with the restrictions that are put on to food service with the current regulations uh, from the county, uh, we're having to space out our customers more. Everything's takeout. We've eliminated our seating around the area, tried to reduce some of our menus so it's quick grab and go. So people can grab it, still enjoy it inside their car. Well, we're not going to do the concession because uh, we don't know how many people will be uh, at the concession window and standing around and touching things. And so we brought our own food. We got shake these pizza and we got fried chicken. And uh, this week, everything has just almost been operating hour by hour. Things are changing rapidly. We're trying to we're staying in close contact with local government and and our officials just to see what's changing and what's expected and trying to adapt on the fly. But we'll do everything in our power to see if we can find a safe uh, way for us to operate so that the people can still come out and enjoy this.